members of the committee on the Democratic side have come up to me and said that their computers were breached. If there's a misunderstanding, let's clear it up. If it did happen, it is a major deal. If, in fact, the CIA you know, hacked into the Senate Intelligence Committee's computers, this is incredibly serious Nixon stuff, and we need to do something about it. If it's a misunderstanding, get to the bottom of it, but we don't need to have this kind of debate very long until we resolve it. It's not good for the country. Senator Feinstein is not one to just say things cavalierly. When she said it, it really unnerved me. Secretary of uh, uh, Director Brennan, I'd like to believe they didn't do this, but I want to find out for myself what, what happened, so I'll be getting briefed by the committee. When? Tomorrow, I hope. All right. This is not a Fourth Amendment problem. This is a major separation of powers problem. You know, I believe we need a reform, transparent NSA program to protect us against enemies of the nation. But you cannot allow an executive branch agency to hack into a oversight committee's computers to try to find out what kind of damning information may be, may be coming out against you. That just goes to the heart and soul of our democracy. I don't know if it's true, but if it is, heads should roll. What can you do? Well, I think you can, you can have a hearing. I mean, I think it's probably a crime. I mean, it's clearly a separation of powers problem. If you can prove the CIA intentionally hacked into the, into the computers of the Intelligence Committee, then I think the President of the United States, I sure had nothing to do with that, but it would be a defining moment of his presidency to, to clean it up and the Congress should hold people in contempt or whatever power is appropriate for us. If we don't push back for the institution, we're letting the institution down.